Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want you to come along with me as I shop your style, traditional or modern. I'm so thrilled to announce a new mini series here on the channel. I am partnering with The Brick, who's sponsoring this video today, and I'm gonna bring you along as I shop for furniture and accessories for each of the different styles I mentioned in the video at the beginning of this week. In case you haven't seen the video, I will leave a link to it somewhere up here and in the description box below. It's a video on how to find your decor style and I list four tips on how to find your style as well as eight common styles. So once you've narrowed down your style or your duo or trio of styles, these next videos are for you. So over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to take you along with me as I shop at The Brick. They're a furniture, appliance, and mattress store here in Canada. And I'm gonna shop for all of these different styles. So in doing this, I hope that it helps you when you're shopping for your particular style. In each video, I'm going to shop for two different contracts contrasting styles. So today I'm going to shop for traditional versus modern. So if you love traditional decor, here are some of the things that you want to look for when you're shopping for your style. You want to look for neutral colors like beiges and whites and grays. You want to look for intricate details in your furniture like tufting and carving. You want to look for asymmetry. You want to look for things like porcelain accents, like brass accents. And you want to look for patterns like florals and damask and paisleys. If you love modern decor, here are some things that you can look for when you are shopping for your style. You want to look for warm neutral colors with pops of bright color. You want to look for a less is more approach to your furniture and your accessories and keep everything with very clean lines. You want to look for raw wood, chrome, and metal accents. You can look for some geometric patterns. So with those characteristics of each style in mind, let's go shopping. Hi everyone, I am in store at The Brick in Edmonton today. So come along with me as we shop for those items and find both traditional and modern furniture and accessories. And hopefully along the way you'll get an idea of things to look for if you either have a traditional or a modern style. Let's go. So this chair and this sofa here are very traditional looking. Uh, they also have a beautiful glam look, which I love, and I know lots of you love that because they have tufting and they have some detail on the arms. You can see this beautiful piping here on the arms. I will leave a link uh, to everything in the description box below if it's available online at the Bricks website. Here's another piece that is traditional as well, kind of the same idea. We have the tufting and we have the a detail on the arms, the piping. Uh, the fabric is also quite traditional. Velvet not only is really in style this fall, but it is definitely a traditional fabric. So fabrics that are a little bit more rich like velvets, like linens and like chenilles. Here's another piece that looks quite traditional uh, because it has some detail on the doors here. It has these really detailed handles. So things like that, like fretwork and uh, things like that are very traditional in look. The color does give this piece a little bit more of a modern look. Here's a pair of chairs and a table. This is a conversation set that is definitely traditional. This almost looks like an antique piece. And uh, one thing you can do when you're shopping for traditional and mixing and matching styles is mix something that's a little bit more antique looking with things that are a little bit more modern looking uh, and they can both still have a traditional style. So the carving mix is very traditional as well as the upholstery. It's neutral, but it has a little bit of a pattern. Here's a really traditional set here. This is called the Win, and uh, we have the sofa, sofa, and then a couple of accent chairs. You guys might remember this accent chair that I just got for my home. I love it. It definitely has a traditional look because of the pattern on it. It's sort of a damask pattern, and it's still neutral. And then this love seat and sofa are traditional because of the nail head accents, the really big rolled arms. So those are a couple of qualities you can look for when you're shopping for your own traditional furniture. The sofa table on the back of that uh, love seat that I was just talking about certainly has a traditional look. We have the really detailed legs on here. We have the dark mahogany look wood. So both of those are certainly qualities that you might wanna look for if you're shopping for this style as well. 
I also noticed this lamp over here. It almost looks like an urn. Uh, it has a really, really classic look. That would look right at home in a traditional space. I think these little urns are really beautiful. They're classic looking. I just love blue and white all together. I think those would look really, really pretty on like a sofa table or a side table. And what makes these traditional is that paisley pattern as well as the navy and white. Those are a very classic color combo for any classic or traditional looking room. And it's also on top of this uh, chest here, which has a very uh, classic shape with the roundness and it also has some carving, which is another thing that we're looking for in this style. So here's a beautiful bed that I thought looked very classic and traditional because we have this really nice trimmed out headboard here and we also have some bedding that is just really nice and neutral beige color with some paisley accents which is definitely an important part of traditional style would be the neutrals and just the slight patterns like paisley. Okay so I'm really loving this globe that I found so it looks like a globe but it's just sort of a brass. Uh, globe here on a brass bottom. This might be a piece that I might take home and try to style. It's traditional but it almost has an industrial twist to it. I think that would be such a neat accessory. Here's a really beautiful sconce. You could hang this up on a wall, put a candle on it, and look at all that intricate detail. That's certainly a traditional piece that would look really pretty if you had, if you could find a pair of something like that, you could put them on either side of a window or some art. Definitely a beautiful piece for a traditional looking home. Landscape arts and portrait arts are certainly a staple in traditional decor style. And when I saw this piece, I loved it. Uh, it would be beautiful for fall or autumn in your home. Uh, it has that gorgeous mustard yellow paired with the beautiful aqua. That would be a really, really nice piece uh, over a fireplace or somewhere like that for a traditional looking piece of art. Here's a selection of some pillows that you can just buy uh, individually here at The Brick. I'll show you some traditional patterns here. So this one here, it's almost like a paisley floral. That is very traditional in look. Another one here is this one. It's almost like a fretwork pattern that also has a really traditional look to it. Uh, this one here, a damask sort of pattern. That is also traditional. So any of those damasks or fretworks, uh, and then you could pair those with solid pillows, those would all have a really traditional look to them. Here's a piece that I love that's really traditional in style. It's this beautiful jug. You could use it as a vase, you could use it on the side table, or just like for a single flower. Porcelain accessories are something I mentioned that looks really great in traditional decor. And anything neutral like this, white, matches pretty much any color scheme. So here's the rug section here at the brick. Uh, for traditional, you want to look for a geometric or solid. Oh, this one is actually a perfect example of something that would look good in a traditional space. This is the platinum rug. And here we have that beautiful damask pattern that we see lots in traditional decor. That would be beautiful. And I did see another one on this side that would also work for a traditional home. This one here. This is a gorgeous piece that would, it's really neutral so it would look good with lots of different styles and as well it has just a really nice geometric pattern but it's still nice and soft. So I'm hoping that that gave you enough of an idea of what to look for if you're shopping for a traditional home and you have a, tr a traditional decor style, so the types of furniture, accessories, and fabrics to look for. So now I want to look for some more modern accessories. So this is pretty much the opposite of traditional style. I'm looking for some of the qualities that I mentioned for modern at the beginning of this video, so let's go. Okay, so back to the rug section, we're looking for a modern rug, and this is one that I really liked for a modern space. So geometric patterns are definitely an important part of modern decor, I think. And this one has a really neat geometric pattern, and it's mostly neutral, but then it has this really cool little pop of yellow. So neutrals with a pop of color is a nice look for modern decor, and I think this rug would look really good. Another one that I think could, that could work with modern decor, is just something like this. So this one is just more neutral, but it still has a geometric pattern going throughout. So moving on into furniture here that looks modern. This sectional here is definitely modern. We have just this nice bright white color, the smooth texture of this, uh, this leather here. This one's called the Aussie. 
and it's paired with some modern accessories. So we have this uh, metallic pillow, chrome and metallic, so definitely modern. And I also noticed these accessories here looked really modern. So we have this really geometric, almost like a sculptural piece. And it's still just subtle and all the space in it makes it feel modern because uh, something that's definitely important in modern decor is just lots of space and less is more. So something like this would be a great little accent piece as well as this vase, just very streamlined. And then this coffee table as well. Definitely has modern lines. We have the chrome that we see lots in modern and glass as well. So those two elements are definitely important in a modern decor style. Here's another little vignette here that I think looks really modern. So we have this really sleek chair with a sofa. There's chrome legs on both of them. This is the Tyra collection from the Brick. And then we have these uh, Jersey side tables. They have chrome legs. They have more of a modern uh, wood on top with lines in them. We have this little sculptural element and uh, this rug as well. I think this is the one that I pointed out that looks very modern. And I really like just the super clean lines on these vases and the monochromatic look. There's some more chrome, which also looks modern. So I think this whole setup, all these pieces here are very, quite modern. So let's look at some art here that looks modern. Uh, anything like this, like a contemporary piece like that, that's um, more of a modern style of art. Uh, this one has metallics in it, black, neutrals, any of pieces like that would I think work really well in a modern decor setting. Something like that, that's just a lot of shapes and textures would also work. Pretty much anything in this uh, little spot would work I think for a modern home. All of these pieces are in store at the brick and each brick store has different pieces so definitely check out um, individual stores to see what they have in stock. Here's another display with a couple more modern pieces that I found. This table, certainly modern, it has the chrome legs, it has the glass. This one's called the Dawson Accent Table. I also really liked this vase because it has a marble look, but it's also glass. So it has both of those qualities that are often seen in modern decor. Here are a couple more modern pieces for you. We have this glass side table, it's all glass. Plus it has these little curved legs on it, which makes it really, really contemporary looking. And we have a matching coffee table with it as well. These are called the Kalinas. So you can see they just have very, very clean lines and just very, very minimalist, which is definitely a modern look. So there are some ideas for some modern pieces for you and I shared some traditional ones before. So I hope together those give you some ideas on how to shop for your style, whether you are a traditionalist or a more modern decorator. Those are some pieces to look for, those are some styles to look for, and you can find all of this at The Brick. And again, if you're looking for accessories, each store is different. Check out the description box below if you wanna see links to any of the larger pieces that you might find at The Brick store online. Thank you so much to The Brick for sponsoring this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below which style you prefer, if you're more traditional or modern. Make sure to check out my original video on how to find your decor style if you're on neither of those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas, and I'll see you guys all again in the next video. Bye!